In this video, we are going to see how to decommission the exchange server from a hybrid setup. I have divided this into three videos. In the first video, we will see how to remove the connections like hybrid setup, then send connectors configured in on-premises and also in the exchange online. So the configuration removal is the first step that is what we are going to cover in this video. In the next video, we will see how to remove the directory synchronization. And in the final video, we will see how to remove the exchange server from an on-premises environment. So we have three videos to complete the decommission of our exchange server from a hybrid setup. The final video that comes in this section that is about the decommissioning of exchange server is also applicable in an exchange on-premises alone environment. The first step is to make sure that there is no more public folder dependencies on on-premises. So this, as you can see that the public folder enabled is local. If it is set to local, it is fine. If it is remote, you have to plan to migrate them to exchange online. The next step is to remove the service connection point of your exchange server that is auto discover internal uri you have to remove it so to remove we just add a null value to the uh, client server access point so the first command that i run here is for exchange server 2010 or 13 but when it comes to 2016 and 19 as you know that the client access is a service not a server so you can run the command get client access service instead of server. So both command will work with the 2019 and 2016 versions. The as we remove the auto discover URI, we have to make sure that the public auto discover and also the internal auto discover URLs are now pointed to the outlook.office365 so that I'm going to log into my GoDaddy account, DNS manager, and from there I will remove the auto discover url that pointed to the on-premises environment and change it to exchange online that is outlook.office365.com that is auto discover .outlook so as you can see that the auto discover is pointed to mail.examportal.live so we are going to change this to auto discover .outlook .com. So if any user try to connect with their Outlook or mobile mail client, they will be requesting the auto discover XML file from here onwards from autodiscover.outlook.com instead of on-premises exchange server. The next step is to remove the connectors from exchange office 365 admin center. So you can see that I have two connectors that is a part of mail flow between on-premises and exchange uh, online the other connector is a mail relay that i prefer to keep but i would like to remove the other two connectors that manage the mail flow between exchange online and on premises as we are going to decommission the hybrid setup we don't need any more internal mail flow for this the next thing that we need to remove here is federation for that Click on the organization and that will show you there is a federation access between on-premises and exchange online and you can simply delete it by click on the delete button under the organization sharing option. So now we deleted the organization sharing between on-premises and exchange online. The next step we have is to log into the on-premises exchange admin center and delete the connectors related to on-premises. So I have logged into the on-premises exchange admin center then from the on-premises I would like to delete everything because the plan is to remove the exchange server completely. So I don't want to keep any more send connectors. If you keep any connectors then during the uninstall during the removal of exchange server we will be requested to remove these connectors the next step is to remove the hybrid configuration so you can see get hybrid configuration will display your hybrid configuration the features that you enabled in the hybrid configuration so the plan is to remove the hybrid configuration so what you have to do is you have to run a command here that is remove hybrid configuration that will remove the hybrid configuration from your exchange on premises setup 
so enter a to confirm the action so now we have confirmed the removal of hybrid configuration and the final one if OAuth is configured for an exchange hybrid deployment then you want to disable to the configuration from both on premises and office 365 so if you didn't set up you can skip this section no need to do this otherwise you have to run this command and you have to do this for the exchange online management shell also so once you run this in on premises switch to the on exchange online management shell as i already connected i just need to run this command so i can run the same command and disable it So let us summarize what we have done in this video in order to remove or decommission the exchange server from a hybrid setup. So the first step we check the public folder dependency in on-premises exchange server and we found there is no dependencies but if exist you have to migrate them to exchange online. In the second step we remove the service connection point so that we don't have any more auto discover point to on-premises exchange server and in the third step i logged into my public dns manager and changed the auto discover value to our outlook auto discover url so you have to remove if you have any existing uh, SCP, if you have any existing dns configuration in your on-premises also for the auto discover you have to remove that also then we logged into the Exchange Online Admin Center, Office 365 Admin Center, and we removed the connectors and the organization relationship that configured as a part of hybrid configuration wizard. Then we logged into the Exchange On-Premises and removed the send connectors that we created. And also we removed the send connector that we created for external email also because our plan is to remove the Exchange server completely. Then finally, if there is any OAuth is configured in the Exchange Hybrid deployment, you can remove it. But in most of the environment, you can skip this step. So that is all. Let's move to the next video.